I'm going to show you one of the most versatile under uh, kind of underneath concepts in Madden 24. It's the patch Y post out of the Patriots playbook. This is in trips tied in. If you're in Packers, it's called Y post. Um, but trips tied in is really versatile this year. A lot of different things you can do with the offense. Now, if you want to get my entire trips tied in offensive ebook, join the Patreon. I'm going to put a link to that in the description down below. It's only $10. It'll get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, everything for just $10. And you get updates as well as long as you're a member. So if you want to sign up, the link's going to be down in the description below. So what we're going to do with this play is really going to kind of build around this Y post route. And what this Y post route is going to do for you is let's say your opponent is wanting to run some cover zero uh, and they're wanting to get some pressure on you quick. This is a very, 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 very uh, good concept for that. OK, that situation. So what I like to do with this play is essentially I will put the outside trips receiver on a smart routed in. I'll put the middle trips receiver on a flat or a whip. You can use whip routes if you want. And then we're going to put a slant route right here. Now, with this running back, you kind of have a choice. Um, it kind of depends on what they're doing. But this little quick table route here is good against the quick blitz. As you see right here, just a simple table route wide open against the blitz if they send five. Okay? So if they send five, that is something you can do. You can also put the running back on a wheel if you want to. Um, but I would really recommend a table route, an out route, or just the route that he's already on. If you put him on a table route, you'll see... If, even if they get the blitz in, you can get this out quick enough that it's going to be able to beat the blitz. But let's say you wanted to get a big play against your opponent. What you can do to get a big big play against your opponent is basically you can utilize motion blocking um, to essentially pick up this play, pick up the blitz for just a second, and you could potentially have this tied in over the top. So um, what I like to do here, if I'm going to use motion blocking, is I'll put the running back on an in route, and then I'll motion this guy across, and I'll block him. What you'll see with this is you can freeform this tight end post inside, up and inside. And as you can see, it gets over the top of cover zero for a big play. As long as they don't have a middle third defender, you've got a really good shot at this being a touchdown. Okay. And it's because of this, this Y post route is very similar to the route, uh, to the double post route out of, um, out of uh, gun bunch. And again, you can motion snap this guy on either side. So you can motion snap him here. Again, you watch that tight end, cuts inside, free form inside, boom, and it's a big it's a big play over the top. And again, it just works cover zero. Uh, it really does work cover zero. And what it really does great for your offense is now defensively, they've got to adjust to that. And really the only way they can adjust to that is by putting this guy in the middle third. So now they're outflanked from a coverage perspective. There's nobody guarding the running back. They're going to have to go guard the running back themselves. Um, so maybe it's going to look something like this. Now, what we have on the rest of the play is a setup that is equipped to be able to attack this. So you motion this guy in, block him if you want the extra protection, and now you can hit your quick reads. You've got your slant, you've got your dig route um, over the middle of the field. Now, this tight end post is going to get kind of bagged if they put a middle third defender, but there are windows. Of, there's always windows, right? And so I will show you. Uh, let me see here. There's a little bit of a window on this play to hit this tight end post, again, if you have time. So you see here, basically right there, and you've got to cut it off. But as you can see, the middle third defender. So if you put a streak on the field, it can clear that out. But just know, like, they've kind of got you at that point. Now, what you can also do, I'll show you one other thing you can do with the tight end post, though. If they drop this guy in the middle third, okay? If they drop, and, it, and, and typically I think it works best if they drop that left side safety in the middle third. If they drop the right side safety, it's a little easier. But basically he'll cross the face of the safety, and you can kind of throw it over here. But um, again, not ideal. If they if they drop a middle third defender, they've got you on that part of the play. Okay, But there's a lot more to this play than just that. So they drop the middle third defender here. Um, again, if they're going to blitz you and do this, you're throwing the ball right there and you're taking your 15 to 20 yards with one juke and potentially a touchdown so you have that quick to the flat and then again as they're going to adjust this out right so this guy is going to be here in man coverage on the back and then they're going to have a middle third defender here and then the user is going to basically be lurking under the middle and this is where this play gets really 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 effective especially in short yardage so um and not short yard, like short and like like third and two. Um, you do want the tight end post to run. You want to have enough space for him to get open. But anyways, um, what you'll see here is the slant is really good 
Um, as you can see here, when you let the slant run like just as a standard slant, it's not motioned, it can really cook man well. Uh, it really does a good job against man coverage. Okay, so you have that against man. These are situations where I might say, okay, you know, now you might try to run the run the wheel. And then what I would do is put a drag instead of a slant. So what will happen now is now he's matched up on a linebacker. And we know in this year's game, if you match that guy up with a linebacker in man coverage, it's going to be a touchdown. So now we get into this adjustment battle where they're going to have to adjust to you. And really, it's it's kind of going to be something like this. Um, and typically, they're going to have to maybe cross man the running back because they have to still have help over the top for the tight end post. Otherwise, you'll kill them with that. And then now they're going to have to use the slant. So you see how this play is like we're very quickly able to break down uh, what they can do from a man coverage perspective, and they're going to have to be in a lot of coverage. So that's where this backside dig, passing that down, and uh, you're going to get that open against man. As far as zone, this play is really good against zone two. What's cool about the tight end route is it clears out space uh, for everything else on the play. So the tight end post is going to clear out zone, and then what you'll be able to do here is you're going to throw that slant right in that little window. It's essentially a short version of the Y cross concept out of trips tight end, um, and, and, and it's really hard to stop. And the reason why it's really hard to stop is because the slant route runs at about 15-yard depth, and then you also have this running back route. So let's say they don't play hard flats, then I can throw the running back quick to the flat just like that. But if they do play hard flats, then they have to take the slant themselves. And then if they take the slant themselves, then you're going to have this backside dig. So they take the slant, look at the backside dig, wide open, easy reads. Play is very versatile. Check this play out, wide post. If you want to check out the rest of my trip side in offensive ebook, or if you want to get any of the other ebooks, honestly, uh, just join the Patreon today for just 10 bucks. That's why you don't put a slant in a wheel against man because uh, they run into each other. But uh, join the Patreon today for just $10. It gets you access to all of our offensive, defensive ebooks, everything, all of our updates for just 10 bucks. You can sign up by clicking the link down in the description below.